Welcome to Steelworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, so what do we got going on today? Today, we are going to distill out our peach oat whiskey. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, and one thing I'm gonna try to do too is, I've had some requests about to emphasize a little bit more on how I run my still. Okay, so that's what we'll try to do some of the, the this little details that we do okay so first things first there is something big that you could do to help this channel out and it's easy to do just hit that subscribe button down there all right let's get started now okay so before we quite get started filling up the still pot i wanted to show you one thing that i do is and if you notice the still the bottom of that still is not very, uh, not very, not very thick. So if you heat with propane at all, I found in myself that I made me a diffuser plate to go underneath the still pot because uh, the it, the propane flame will hit this, heat this plate up, which in turn heats the still pot up, and it will uh, help prevent scorching. And scorching is one of them things, once it happens, you just can't get that taste out, and it really kind of just ruins it. Uh, so I started using this, and it's been working out pretty well, because a lot of times what I'll do is, yes, I run my still with electric, but in the very beginning, just because it's easy for me to do, is I'll put some propane underneath of it just to get the temperature up a little bit quicker. Uh, and with using this diffuser plate, it helps out a lot. I don't have, I never had any more problems with scorching. Um, so I just wanted to get that out there before we start filling the pot up. All right, I mean, this diffuser plate is just a piece of uh, quarter inch, looks like quarter inch steel. Cut it out, it fits up underneath the pot. <laughs> The flames underneath, okay? All right, let me get set up and we're gonna fill this still pot up and we'll get ready to get running. or my, my mash degassed out uh, I plugged up my SCR switch or PMW PMW switch yeah pulse with pulse width modifier okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on but I'm only gonna be putting about five amps into the 
distilled pot because I want to bring it up slow because I, I don't want to scorch it. For, I did use a screen when I was siphoning my mash over to get any big hunks out, particles out, because I don't want them to scorch onto the heating element. And probably what I'll end up doing is put a little bit of propane on the bottom with my diffuser plate, just to help bring it up while I'm starting to stack my still up. So let me go ahead and get that going. to put too awful much heat too fast I like to ramp it up okay okay so we got that going let's start stacking the still out of course our dome piece will go on first I did check my final gravity and she finished it out dry uh, 1.000. So I'm looking right at 10%. Because if you if you watch the other video, I was like at one or 1.083. So you did the math, and it's it's somewhere between 10 and 11 percent. Okay, so I'm looking to get about. Two and a half quarts of pure alcohol, which you, but you, you would stretch that out a little bit, okay? All right, so the next piece, I want to put two rolls of copper in my column. Some say that you have to use copper within a still. Um, sure ain't gonna hurt, right? So I got two rolls of copper in my still, in my column. Now one easy way to test to make sure that you're not packed too tight, you should be able to breathe through it very easily, like nothing's there, and that is. Okay, so let's stick this one on. Okay, I'm gonna stick a sight glass on just because I like to see what's going on. I think it's so cool. And then I'm gonna stick my condenser on. And last but not least, we'll go with our head temperature. It goes all the way up top. But basically everything on your still is run by your head temperature. That's the most important temperature we can get. 
to while the uh, still is heating up, I'm gonna hook up my uh, drain line or my water cooling lines. Okay, so my first one I'm gonna just hook up. It, it's my drain line. So cold water is gonna go in the bottom of the lead bait condenser and out of the top. I got a quick connector there. And put that in the sink. My next one will hook up to the bottom. So it's cold water in the bottom, out the top. I'll just put me a clamp over here. And this is cold water. Very simple. Okay, so let me get my steel hooked up. I mean, I ain't really feeling no action going on yet. I'm feeling the column. I'm heating up, but I ain't really, ain't feeling nothing yet. Uh, temperatures are getting close up near 100 degrees, so it's not going to start rising yet. Okay, so let's continue on. There's just one thing I would like to say that uh, there's thousands of ways of doing something. This is just the way that I do it. Uh, it seems to work out pretty good for me, and I just want to show you how I do it. Okay? All right. Okay, so where are we at? I'm feeling my column. I can feel a little bit of heat starting to come up. Uh, I can see some fog in my sight glass, so now's the time for me, I'm gonna start turning on my cooling water. And be honest with you, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, actually, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy with the cooling water, I don't think. But she is starting to heat up just a little bit. Like I said, I've seen fog in my sight glass. My head temperature is running around right at 90, just hanging out. Okay, so in a little while, She's gonna start coming up. But like I've always said in the past, this ain't a time to walk away. I got my coffee sitting right there. Because when that temperature rises, it, it's gonna skyrocket, it's gonna go real fast. And if you come up too fast, uh, you might wanna make the still puke. And we don't wanna do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, feeling my column. I can feel the heat starting to come up. My head temperature, she was right on 90. Now she's on 100. Uh, I'm getting a couple drips out of my condenser. So it ain't gonna be long, it's real close. If you look at the sight glass, it's starting to clear up, okay? Going from foggy just to con uh, condensation on it. So it's, it's getting real close. The vapors are gonna start coming up, okay? So I ended up, turn, you know, I had a little fire, a little propane fire underneath of it. I turned that off. But I can really, really feel the heat at the bottom. You can feel it. All right, so a few more minutes, and then she's gonna start producing. Uh, as of right now, if you check the water coming in, my water coming into the bottom of my lead big is 69 degrees. Coming out is 76 degrees, okay? So that's, that's great. If I feel the top, it's warm, a little bit warm up here, not yet, a little bit warm, and the bottom's cold, okay? So that's, that's good. Um, that's a real pungent smell. It's just a few drips, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll collect the, uh, I'm gonna collect the first six, this is a fruit, 
fruit mash, kind of, fr of a fruit mash. So I'm gonna collect the first six ounces. We're gonna discard that and then we'll start collecting after that. Okay, so let's give her a couple more minutes and we'll be back. She came up pretty darn fast. I mean, she went from 100 right to 180 up on my head temperature. I mean, lickety split. I turned my uh, uh, PWM switch down to 4.5 amps going in. I can see some, I mean, you got a nice broken stream here. So I'm gonna collect up about six ounces and we're gonna discard that. Okay, so, okay, so she's at 180 and she'll hang out there for a while. Uh, I did have to turn my uh, cooling water up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see. That's actually a little bit too much. Okay. I think I can turn that down just a little bit. All right, temperature going in. <laughs> I mean, it's 65 degrees going into my condenser. Coming out is about 73. And it's about 72 coming out of the, my distal comes out at 72 degrees. So I'm very happy with that. Um, so, let me collect this first six ounces. We're gonna move over to collection jars. Okay, so uh, just to give you an update where I'm at, I mean, I've collected off one pint. Uh, I did have to raise my amperage going into my heating element. I'm up to 7.5 and she seems to be running pretty good. It's a broken stream. Mmm, taste is there, it's very tasty. So uh, head temperature is sticking right there at 180. That's where it still likes to run. Everybody still is a little bit different on that. But she stuck right there on 180. So looks like we'll be here for a little while. All right. Okay, so we're looking at uh, one and a half quarts. I want to see what we got coming off. Let me grab my uh Hydrometer here. And it's looking like, oops. Right at 60%, which is 120 proof. And one thing I want, That's saying the same thing. Okay, let's see where we're at. Looks like we're right at about 48, 49% coming off. Our te head temperature is, we're about 195. So she, I had to inch up the uh, power going into the uh, heating element to keep the production up. So that's, that's telling me that we're getting close to the end. Uh, we're probably into our tail. We're gonna collect a couple more percent off and then uh, we'll go from there. 
Let's see what she tastes like. Still tastes good. Uh, but I think we're starting to get into her tails a little bit. But we'll collect a little bit and we'll be back. Okay, I think we're finishing up here. Uh, let me get a quick reading on this. We're like at 40... 41%. My head temperature is right at 200 degrees. Still don't taste too bad. I might just give her about one more minute. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna stop right now. Okay, so I'm gonna shut the power off. I'm getting a little bit of the smell, like the wet dog smell, wet cardboard. Uh, so I ended up with one, two and a half quarts, well, two and three quarter quarts. Uh, so what I'm gonna end up doing now is I'm gonna let this air out for 24 hours. Then I'm gonna come back and taste and uh, we'll put smoke on it all right okay so i'm gonna let my still cool down clean it up let this air out and we'll see you tomorrow okay so it's been 24 hours i've uncovered all my uh my cut jars here uh, so well, i've already poured the uh my four shots stuff into my poison bucket there, there my jug all right so what we're going to do is we're going to taste the rest of these and we're going to decide on what we got to keep and what we're not i'm just guessing that this very first one will probably not use and this very last one will probably not use let's taste the rest of them and see what we got okay so i'm going to start right here in the middle That's very excellent, very clean tasting. So I know that's a definite keeper. Let's work down the line first. That's the same as the, that, that one. That's got a good taste to it. taste this last one I mean it's not bad but I think I'm gonna leave that one out uh, just because I mean I really I know when we were running the still we were getting you know down on our on our uh, percentage here let me try this one I think I'm gonna be right. I'm gonna leave them last two jars out. So what we want to do is we're gonna mix everything else up together.
Take a little sample. I'm showing 120 proof right there. Okay, so 120 proof. Let me mix a little bit of water in with that. to 120. at 110. Watch what I was doing. All right, that is a little bit more. is 90 proof. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add one ounce to that. I kind of wanted her a little bit light on the uh, on the oaking. So I just add one ounce. Let me put the lid on that.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for a little while. And we'll come back and check in a couple days. And if, if we feel we need to add a little bit more oak to it, we will. But as of right now, I think I'm going to leave it right there. I want it uh, lightly oaked. And uh, the taste is fantastic. And with a little bit of oak on it, I think it's going to even be better. So, all right. So the next thing is just time. Um, last thing I got to say. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing.